Hey guys, so before we get into this video, I quickly want to shout out Fly Language for sending me two dope products from their brand and this hoodie is actually one of them. This is a crop top tie-dye hoodie and I'm going to show you guys. It says Fly Language and it's a crop top. It comes short and it has like this rough cut at the bottom which is really really nice and really cool and dope and i love how bright it is and colorful and then on the back of their hoodie they have the message of their brand here are some pictures as well that i um took in this hoodie this hoodie is super duper cute and i again i love the tie dye and the message behind the brand it is really really dope the next item that they also sent me is a t-shirt here I love the cut of the t-shirt and this color like the tie-dye I'm so into tie-dye it's like it just brightens up any anything any outfit anything and it also just has the print in the front fly language and then again their message is on the back of their t-shirts so thank you fly language for sponsoring this portion of my video and also thank you for sending me both of these items I really really love them I'll have their at name on the screen somewhere, so go check them out. Their message and brand and everything is super duper dope. So be sure to check them out at Fly Language on Instagram. And I also have their website somewhere on the screen as well. So thank you, Fly Language. And let's get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be going from my straight hair to my curly hair once again I'm gonna show you guys how I dust my ends some ends I also trimmed a little bit I'm also gonna show you guys how I do this homemade mask and yeah so if you guys would like to see how I go from straight hair to curly hair at least this time then please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram snapchat Facebook and Twitter Turn on your post notifications and let's get right into the video. Hey guys, okay, so here is my before. Obviously, I have my hair straightened right now. I've had it straightened for like, I'm gonna say two weeks. So it's been like two weeks since I last washed my hair because I was trying to make this last as long as possible. I really need to get do a protective style on my hair because my curls, it's just been giving me some trouble, you know? So, and it's getting too hot to deal with all this hair. This is usually when I feel like cutting it because look how long this thing is, you guys. It's way, it's just really, really long and it's time. Like, this is when I feel like I want to cut my hair because it's long and it's too hot outside. I'm going to be cutting my ends today, <clears throat> my tips, the tips of my hair. I have a lot of split ends because as you guys know, I bleach my hair like, let me put these scissors down, way too many times and so the ends of my hair are actually blonde, like they're bleached, but I just put a, before I straightened it, I put the Adore Jet Black dye in my hair so that's why you can't fully see it, but you can see it in the light a little bit, you just can't see it right now. But I know you guys can see them split ends, okay, it looks crazy. So I haven't went to a salon to cut my hair since my last cut, which is actually here on my channel. I'm no longer working with that company, so I've just been taking care of my hair on my own because then COVID happened, obviously, and all that stuff, and I just didn't want to get, I just didn't want to do all of that. So anyway, I'm going to be cutting the ends of my hair today, and I'm going to give myself a little spa day. I've been moping around for the past couple of days, so it's time for me to get up and film and be productive I'm also gonna do a as I promised you guys in my last video I'm gonna do a at home hair treatment that my grandma used to do with do on my hair when I was like younger so I know my curls do need the love so the first thing I'm gonna do and no I'm no expert you guys like I'm literally just gonna be like a little bit more than dusting so I'm gonna do all of that I'm also gonna be shaving my face probably once I have the treatment in so um, after I cut my hair, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go shampoo my hair because my hair, I need to get, my scalp needs help. And I really just want to wash it before I put the treatment in so it can really penetrate like my actual hair because my hair has a lot of buildup. Because as I said, I haven't washed it. <laughs> so I don't want to put the treatment on top of that. You can, but 
I just want it to really penetrate my hair and it's all like food ingredients so it's gonna be good I'm not gonna say natural because mayo is not natural but you know and you can see my hair looks pretty dull right now so the only recommendation or the only thing I'm gonna suggest is that if you are cutting your hair at home again I'm not telling you to do so but if you are make sure you have really sharp scissors like these can cut you like I've cut my finger with these before they are from an actual like hair stylist Thing, but I think I got it on Amazon but these are so sharp like these are kind of scary actually so I split my hair in half to just kind of get the gist after this I'm gonna shampoo and I'm gonna do like a little scalp treatment I'll show you guys the products that I'm using and then I'm gonna do the low mixture that I'm gonna show you guys on camera as well and then I'm gonna leave that in and wash that out and then I'm possibly gonna do a little deep conditioning after and then we're gonna be done. We're gonna have curly hair all, all over again. You see this? This looks crazy. I'm gonna miss my straight hair though, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm literally gonna take like the very ends and just snip away. I'm doing it over here so I can follow my desk and not just all over the place. You can tell if your scissors are really good for cutting hair. Like if you have to like keep doing this, don't use those kinds of scissors, you guys. You guys are gonna just give yourself even more split ends make sure that you're using scissors that it's just like a one-shot deal it's just cut out everything everything all right see how it just cuts straight gotta be careful with these these are these are dangerous so yeah i'm just gonna keep doing that i'm gonna split my hair in a couple different sections and kind of see because i have layers again i am not an expert you guys don't cut your hair at home because I'm doing it. Do it because you want to do it. Okay. As I said before, my straight to curly hair routines. This is me basically trying to apologize to my curls for having straightened it. So there's going to be a lot of like treatments and a lot of TLC, which curls need. And obviously they haven't been getting. So I just cut this front piece here. Well, I split this front piece here. And I'm gonna go down to my ends. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna keep cutting at my ends. Um, you see like this right here, this, all of this gotta go. Like I'm literally just, I'm over all the split ends. It gotta go. So I'm just gonna keep cutting my hair, cutting the ends. I'm not cutting too much. I'm gonna show you guys how my desk looks. It's literally just like, I'm dusting. It's not necessarily a trim. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Just so you guys can get an idea and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you guys the products when I be right back all right you guys so I am finished cutting my hair my ends are looking a little bit better not as bad and it also just feels better you can kind of tell um, it just feels better I'm gonna go shampoo my hair is super itchy I'm gonna go shampoo and then I'm gonna look at it again once I have it shampooed and right before I put the treatment in probably dust a little bit more I think this is the best way if you're not getting trims for whatever reason this is the best way to kind of maintain your hair not getting too bad because what happens when you have split ends is just gonna keep climbing and breaking off your hair and trust me I know because it's happened to me in the past and it's kind of happening right now so the best thing to do is kind of like dust your ends um, just like the very very ends you guys saw um, it's like little bits of just like just just little snips little snips um, so I'm gonna be washing my hair um, for those of you that have been following for a while you know that I used to follow the curly girl method I think I said recently that I don't follow it anymore I don't care if it works it works for my hair and that's it it's pretty much it so I've been using the L'Oreal LV Total Repair 5. I love the deep conditioner this comes with. This is probably what I'm going to be deep conditioning with later. But right now I'm just going to shampoo with this. This is a repairing shampoo. And then I'm also going to be using their um, L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System. Scalp Care Plus Detox Scrub. And this is what it looks like here. So let me see if you can... I don't know if you guys can see the ah, okay I didn't drop it it was just water it's really like a jelly type of consistency and it has little beads in it let me see I hope you guys can possibly see it has little beads in it so it really gets in there 
Um, the only thing that I have, like the only con about this product is that sometimes the little bees kind of stay in your hair, but I don't think it's a big problem because I like the scrub that it gives my scalp. So I'm about to put these two things in my hair. I'm about to go wash it. So this is when, this is the last time you guys, well not the last time forever, but the last time for right now that you guys are seeing my straight hair. Cause now as soon as I get in the shower, it's going to go back to curly. Hopefully. No, I'm just kidding. It should at least get wavy <laughs> after the little bit of heat damage. Hey guys, so I am back. I My hair is a little bit dry because one, I didn't use conditioner. So my hair is like, you can see there is some damage. Um, I don't care. And two, I've been cutting away at some split ends. But for now, we're going to get to this treatment. These are the ingredients. I'm going to show you guys the ingredients and then I'm possibly going to show you guys when I'm mixing it. But some mayonnaise this is the light mayonnaise you can use the regular mayonnaise as well but mayo you need some olive oil so i have a little bit here i'm probably not going to use all of this so you don't need much i'm going to use one egg you can use like two or three however many you want i'm just going to use one little egg and then i'm going to use half an avocado again you can use a whole avocado if you want to you can use two avocados do whatever there's no such thing for me, especially when it comes to this stuff, as far as like measuring. You do as you please. I don't think I'm going to make a lot because it's really only for my hair. So I think this is enough. If not, I'll let you guys know if I add some more of anything. And I have a little mixing bowl here. And I also have my little handheld blender because one time I did an avocado mask and there were so many chunks. There are probably still going to be some chunks, but there were so many chunks that even after I washed my hair, like I still had chunks of avocado in there. So I want to try to make sure it's as smooth as possible, just, just so it can be easier. It really doesn't matter, but my hair already feels so much better, you guys. It's like getting rid of all the dead Wait. So now I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to try to, I'm doing it here in my vanity, which oh, I also have a little plastic spoon to scoop out the avocado. So. All right, you guys. So the only thing I'm going to say for this part is that the lighting is a little bit off because I have sunlight, then I have my light, and then it's just a little bit off, but I hope you guys can still see. And yeah, enjoy. All right, so as you guys seen, I made my little mask. I actually made a little bit more and then separated it because my boyfriend is actually doing the mask as well. So it's good for both men and women. It's fine, it's just a hair mask, you guys. Most of the things I actually promote is good for men and women, actually. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. It has a really nice consistency. It looks like a real nice hair mask. So all of these ingredients are gonna work good to give my hair some shine moisture everything wear a shirt or whatever that doesn't really that you don't really care to get dirty i'm just going to play some music while i put my mask in my hair i'm gonna get a plastic shower cap because after i'm done i'm just gonna put my hair up i'm gonna tie it up um, and put it in like a plastic shower cap and then i'm gonna use my hot heads mask for like 20 minutes and I'm possibly gonna leave this mask in for like an hour, maybe two, depending on how I feel. If I get too lazy, you guys will know. I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm gonna go grab the shower cap. All right, y'all, shower cap secured. Hey guys, I'm back. So, I know you guys have seen this shirt before, but I love this shirt, it's super comfy. And I think it was in my other like self-care type video too. 
but I have washed my hair. So I rinsed out my hair. I was going to shampoo again because I wanted to get the smell out. And it doesn't really smell like anything right now. I mean, it smells like the conditioner I used. So after I rinsed it out, I didn't shampoo because I already had used the scalp scrub and I used shampoo. I think I shampooed like twice. So my hair had just went through a lot because I already had straightened it and I was doing that. So I just was like, you know what? If it smells like mayonnaise, I'm okay with it. But um, I just rinsed it out and then I used my, this is the L'Oreal LV Total Repair 5 Power Restore. And it's a rinse it or leave it. So you can use it as a leave-in, leave-in. I think I am going to use it as a leave-in today because I don't think I've tried it as a leave-in. At least not, maybe I did. I can't remember. But I kind of use it, I sometimes use this as like a quick deep conditioner. It's not really like a deep conditioner though, but um, I, I used it in the shower for like about a couple of minutes and then I rinsed it out. And off the back, first impressions on how my hair feels and looks. Well, you can see how it looks. This is without no product at all. It seems like it's going to be a little bit weighed down because of the mask, maybe a lot of oils and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not too concerned with that. I just want my hair to be, you know, healthy. I'm going to apply my products now. I did my skincare and I, you know, did my eyebrows and stuff. So I am now going to put my hair, actually do it in sections. I think I'm gonna do it in like two to three sections. A lot of you guys have been asking me how did I grow my hair so long? And I can have a dedicated video to that. I can sit here and like bullshit you guys to death and say like, I do this, I do this. But I've honestly done nothing in particular for my hair to grow long except for leave it alone. My hair actually does, my hair was long when I was younger and it grows long if I just leave it alone, if I stop cutting it, if I stop bleaching it and stuff. I I haven't gotten my hair bleached since August 2019. That was the last time I got my hair bleached. I'm gonna explain to you guys what I'm gonna be doing while I'm talking to you guys. So in here, I just have some water. I'm gonna spray it a little bit, because as you can see, it got a little bit dry. I had it in a towel while I did my skincare. And then I'm going to be applying a little bit of this, and then I'm going to apply my Eco Styler gel. I'm not gonna use too much of this, but I do want it to hold because I have a shoot tomorrow. So yeah, in August 2019 was the last time I got my hair bleached. Yeah, and then after that, I was putting temporary dyes in my hair. Like you guys seen last year, I did the pink, it was so pretty. I would go back to that, but then I'd have to bleach my hair again. Yeah, I've just been leaving my hair alone. I do random treatments, like how you see me do them on here is when I do random treatments. Um, I was doing like aloe at some point. I was doing rice water, which I'm gonna go back to because I do believe that rice water gave me that extra push, that extra kick. Because I did feel like my hair kind of came to like a, it was like mid back length and it kind of just stayed there for a while. And I do think that me using rice water, and I only used it for maybe about a month. Keep in mind that it's not every wash Every time I wash my hair is not when I use it. I kind of used it um, every other wash day. So maybe about two to three times I used the rice water in my hair. And if you guys want to see a video on how I do that, then let me know. Because I do think that that helped my hair get that extra push when it came to growth. But then I stopped because it was around the time that I was moving. And it was just too much to keep up with at that time. My hair was, I wasn't doing anything with it. Anyway, so I was like that's too much to worry about right now So I'm gonna take about this much not a lot because I don't want my hair I feel like it's already gonna be a little bit weighed down I've had my moments while I was obsessed with like these things But I mean I feel like after last year and the things that I personally been through besides what we've been through collectively um, I kind of try not to care about the little things and I love my hair and I want it to be healthy and you know Whatever like I do take care of it every now and then but I mean I don't stress about it so I do have some hair growth tips that I can share with you in a video but I'm just saying like I'm not super crazy or, or um, I don't know consistent with it I'm not 
I'm just not. But I'm telling you, if you want your hair to grow, to grow, just leave it the freak alone. Your hair just needs breaks, you know? I do want to get braids again, but I kind of, I'm thinking about if I should do them on my own again or just go get them done somewhere. I don't feel like sitting in a chair for hours, so you see, I can't do that. And I know they're going to take long with my hair, so my hair is long. When I was younger, my cousin used to live in the same building as I and my older cousin and she used to braid my hair like she used to have a new hairstyle for school like every week but like she used to do like really cute hairstyles like it'll be just like half cornrows and then the rest like out or in a high ponytail so cute i miss those days now i have to do my hair on my own i mean i've been having to do my hair on my own i don't know if you guys can see on camera my hair is really shiny also, what I've noticed when I rinsed out the um, the mask, it was that my, my hair was really like, it felt strong. It felt like it actually had some strength, which is nice to feel because my hair was feeling a little dull and weak. All right, you guys, so I just put in my products. I put in the conditioner or the leave-in. I don't know why this part looks really weird on camera. Does this look weird to y'all? Look like I have a black eye or something, but anyway. I put in the leave-in and then I put in some gel and this is what my hair is looking like. It doesn't really look like anything yet because it's wet. Probably gonna come in and show you guys how it looks when it's dried later on, but I can't make no promises because what time is it? It is 7.30 right now, so I'm going to have dinner soon and I'm gonna wind down because it's Friday so we'll see you guys in a little bit I hope you guys are enjoying my little hair routine thing hey guys what is up good morning I didn't come back last night to give you guys an update and it is like about to be 12 p.m. the next day but um, yeah my curls so um, I didn't end up diffusing and you can see a little bit of frizz right here I didn't end up diffusing and I put my hair in a ponytail which is basically I mean a pineapple which is basically like a really really high ponytail like right here so I did that to go to sleep I didn't use a satin pillowcase or a scarf or anything I just slept on my regular cotton pillow and that was it I didn't protect my curls to sleep um I kind of really usually don't because bonnets sometimes give me a headache I think I need to get a better one anyway and um, <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it I'm a lazy curly as you guys probably know by now but these are my results from you know the mask and everything I will say I thought it was gonna be a lot more weighed down but I actually have some volume which is really nice I haven't refreshed it yet I was about to refresh and then I'm like you know what let me give you guys some raw results what I noticed is my, that my hair looks a lot more like I don't know it just looks really shiny I don't know if you can even see it on camera and it also looked a little bit more shiny last night obviously but it looks a little more shiny and it has like it just looks like strengthened um it felt like it was feeling a little weak but it feels better now even I'm like pulling my hair to like feel it but yeah it feels a little bit better now and it feels a little bit more full I guess because of the trimming of the ends and stuff I'll be right back when I have refreshed my curls I'm probably gonna come back with a full face of makeup because I have to get ready for my shoot I'll be back hey y'all I am back so I did my little edges like I just I was gonna say I glued them down Lord I gelled them down so it could look a little bit more like something um, so these are my curls so um, if you guys can tell there's a lot of frizz there's probably some damage but truthfully the mask I think did bring it back to life as best as it could I'm not necessarily stressed about it I feel like the cut that I also did like on my ends was really good because I don't know if you guys can see but it's like um, it looks a lot more fuller and um, I'm going to keep taking care of it. Um, usually after I do come back from straightening my hair, it is a little bit more frizzy when it's like the first time I wash it. Also, it's a bit humid. I had my window open and it's now raining outside, which sucks. But um, so maybe it's a little bit of the humidity, but overall, like my ends look a lot better than they were looking. It's not looking as stringy as it once was. 
and I am really happy with the results. Um, I think next time, because I just copied my grandma's like little mask recipe, next time what I'm possibly going to do is not include the olive oil because I think sometimes when it comes to oils, um, it creates like a barrier. So maybe the oil didn't allow like the avocado and all the other ingredients like really, really penetrate my hair. I know that avocado has some sort of oil in it as well and so does mayonnaise, but maybe the, that's why I probably won't need the olive oil. Maybe I'll try it without the olive oil next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like it was a little bit all over the place, but I told you guys that I was going to show you guys how I went from straight to back to curly um please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram snapchat facebook and twitter turn on your post notifications and i'll see you guys in my next video bye too much pain up in this but can't put it in rotation number of bitches try to front but them little bitches basic if my opposition's front just know them niggas fake i get money i can't find love cause these bitches be playing too much pain up in this but can't put it in rotation but bitches try to front with them little bitches basic If my opposition's front, just know them niggas straight I get money, I can't find life Cause these bitches be playing They don't want you to win, they want you to lose Gotta keep it quiet when you bustin' your moves Feelin' got me aching, aching. Oh, I'm so cold because